Next, we have the fascinating medieval cities that have been continually inhabited to this day. See if you recognize adaptations for cars and electricity. Rhodes Historic Quarter is Europe's largest active medieval town. The Knights of St. John of Jerusalem conquered the island in the 14th century, bringing great wealth from the Holy Land. How do you like these gargoyles? and incredible mosaics. Crete holds the title for Europe's earliest recorded civilization and Heraklion its most strongly fortified city. Kotor is home to this charming red-roofed city one of the Adriatic's best-preserved medieval old towns. Dubrovnik's medieval streets and incredibly preserved structures were so stunning that George Bernard Shaw called it Paradise on Earth. Today, it's also famous thanks to Game of Thrones and Great Beaches. Split one of Croatia's oldest cities is home to the palace of Emperor Diocletian, who was fascinated by Egyptian culture. On his orders, up to 12 sphinxes were shipped from Egypt to decorate the palace facades. Another special moment was driving four by fours in Corfu, up to the island's oldest villages that still cherish a traditional way of life. Hope you enjoy the trip with us. We are headed towards Berast. It's a small village and it's about it's like 10 kilometers, less than even less than 10 kilometers from here. On Our Lady of the Rocks, and we will learn about the story of the island. It's a beautiful story. We moved and lived the three, in three countries without changing my address. <laughs> and it's because I was born in Yugoslavia, then it changed to Serbia and Montenegro, and I now live in Montenegro. The island was built in order to thank Our Lady for saving one of two brothers that found her picture in that very same place. Local seamen began putting stones there after every successful voyage. The custom continues today. The church was built in 15th century and is filled with donations of art. It's very special to the locals. Peninsula of the Perishat is the region of the red grape or the red wines. So more than 90% of all vineyards here are the same local variety of the grape called Plavats Mali, small blue, correctly in English. Very indigenous grape that you can find here, nowhere else in the world. Now for a picnic lunch on a remote peninsula. We're having freshly harvested oysters mussels and homemade wine. And uh, once uh, we come to Omish, we are going to take a boat uh, and to have uh, a cruiser along uh, Setina River. Setina River is the longest river of Dalmatia at 63 miles. The mouth is in Amish. The Amish Bridge includes two tunnels and a bridge over Satina River. 
the bridge will be 236 yards long. They hope to have it complete by the end of this year. Chioggia is an Italian commune referred to as Little Venice and is one of the most famous seaside resorts overlooking the Adriatic Sea. We stayed a couple extra days in our final destination, the beloved Venice, where you get around by foot or by water. The Leonardo da Vinci Museum was quite the eye-opener to me so much more than a famous artist. Genius seems to be an understatement. Other interesting sights in the maze of streets. Time for our gondola ride. A trip to Venice is not complete without visiting Murano Island for a glass-blowing experience. brought home. Burano Island is synonymous with color. And that completes this incredible journey. Until next time.